Hello and welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to highlight specific points in a scatter plot in Tableau. Scatter plots are used to visualize two measures in a single chart by placing one measure in the column shelf and another measure in the row shelf. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. Here I have a scatter plot that shows sales and profit of different subcategories. The requirement here is to allow user to highlight those subcategories that have sales for example greater than 105k dollars and profit greater than 18k dollars the green points are those subcategories that meet the criteria so copiers accessories binders storage chairs and phones subcategory have profit greater than 18k dollars and sales is greater than 105k dollar but red dots are those subcategories that do not meet the criteria you will observe that as i change value from the profit parameter and the sales parameter the green dots are getting updated so now furnishings has turned green because it meet the criteria so user can select required value from profit and sales parameter and accordingly those subcategories will get highlighted that satisfy the selected value. Now let's jump to Tableau and see how to create a view similar to this one. First we will create a scatter plot to compare sales and profit. So drag sales to the column shelf and drag profit to the row shelf now we want to visualize sales and profit for different subcategories so drag subcategory to the detail also drag subcategory to label to see which subcategory is represented by which dot in the scatter plot change the fit to entire view So here we have a scatter plot that gives us sales and profit of different subcategories. For example, in case of storage subcategory, the sales is 223k dollars and the profit is 21k dollars. Next step is that we want to highlight those subcategories with sales say greater than 80k dollars and profit greater than 10k dollars. For that we will create two sets using subcategory dimension. So go to subcategory, click on the drop down, go to create, click on set. Let's name it subcategory sales set. Then go to condition, click on by field from the drop down select sales. Change the sign to greater than. So here write down 80,000. Click on OK. Drag the new set that we have created to color. Let's change the shape to solid circles. Select the solid circle. Now you will see that the blue dots are those subcategories that have sales greater than 80k dollars and all these gray dots are those subcategories which have sales less than 80k dollars now we will create another set similar to this one for profit so right click on subcategory go to create set let's name it subcategory profit set go to condition here click on buy field select profit field 
now we want to see those sub categories with profit greater than 10000 click on okay now instead of this sub category sales set let's add this profit set that we have created to color now these blue dots are those sub categories that have profit greater than ten thousand dollars and all these gray dots are those sub categories that have profit less than ten thousand dollars our requirement is that we want to see those subcategories with sales greater than eighty thousand dollars and profit greater than ten thousand dollars but here we are able to visualize either by sales set or by profit set so to solve this we will have to create a combined set select both the sets that we have created click on the drop down and select create combined set let's name it profit and sales set we want to see the common members in both the sets so select this second option shared members in both sets click on ok now drag this combined set to color now these blue dots are those subcategories with sales greater than $80,000 and profit greater than ten thousand dollars and the gray dots are those subcategories that have not met the condition we can add a reference line to clearly tell the user that we are trying to find those subcategories where sales is greater than eighty thousand dollars and profit is greater than ten thousand dollars so for that go to analytics from here drag a reference line to sales table from this drop down click on constant so we are looking for all those subcategories with sales greater than 80,000 select none for the tooltip uh, let's select this dotted line from here click on ok similarly we will drag a reference line for profit go to reference line and drag it on table profit from the drop down select constant and for profit we are looking for those subcategories with profit greater than 10,000 select none for the tooltip and let's select dotted line click on ok now from this scatter plot we can clearly infer that the blue dots are those subcategories with sales greater than 80,000 that is shown by this reference line and all those subcategories with profit greater than 10,000 that is shown by this reference line to create a good looking scatter plot let's change the color of in and out let's select green for in and let me select red for out now from the marks card select circle go to color decrease the opacity let's give a black border lastly let's increase the size of these circles to get a good looking scatter plot so in this way we can create a scatter plot and highlight specific points in the scatter plot as per the requirement here we have given a static value of sales that is 80000 and static value of profit that is 10000 we can even give freedom to the user to select the profit and sales value as per their requirement by making use of parameter so we will create two parameters go to data from the drop down select create parameter let's name it sales parameter select 
data type as integer then go to range let's enter minimum value as 100k and maximum value we want the user to select is till 300k click on ok similarly we will create a parameter for profit click on the drop down select create parameter let's name it profit parameter click on the drop down of data type and select integer click on range the minimum value that we want to give is 5000 and maximum we want the user to go till save 35000 click on ok now we will replace these parameters that we have created in the reference lines and the subcategory set so right click on profit reference line click on edit and from here we will select total from this drop down select profit parameter then from this label drop down we will select value click on ok then we will edit this sales reference line right click click on edit from this drop down select total now we will select sales parameter from the label drop down select value click on ok now we will edit the subcategory set that we have created click on the drop down of this subcategory sales set select edit set we want to highlight those subcategories where the sum of sales is greater than the value selected using sales parameter here we can give only the static values so to make use of the sales parameter click on this formula radio button and here write down the condition sum of sales greater than sales parameter click on ok now edit the profit set click on the drop down select edit set similarly click on buy formula radio button here we will give the condition sum of profit greater than the profit parameter click on ok now let's show both these parameters click on the drop down select show parameter similarly click on the drop down of sales parameter and select show parameter now you will observe that as I am changing the value from the sales parameter and the profit parameter the green dots are getting updated so these parameters will allow user to select the required sales and profit value and see all those subcategories that satisfy these conditions so you will see that the subcategories with profit greater than 17k dollars and sales greater than 213k dollars are only phones chairs and storage subcategories so in this way we can give freedom to the user to select any value from these parameters and accordingly the subcategories will get highlighted so this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below thanks for watching this video i hope this session was helpful see you in the next tutorial